Ball rotates left side to Hahn. Entry pass to Duffy, out the Hahn. D3 left side. He knocks it in. That was from 32 feet. And Dylan Hahn, Jesus 10-3. Looks inside, shot clock to six, Hatter in trouble, out the range, has to force up a three, he hit it, range with his first three in his career. Get away from the left wing, behind the back dribble, to the rim, what an ankle breaker, get away, got to the rim, and throws it home off the window. Kansas Wesleyan basketball is on the air. You're now listening to the Kansas Wesleyan pregame show presented by Solutions for Life. During today's show, you'll hear from men's basketball head coach Anthony Munson. Now, let's go live to color analyst Dan Fleming and the voice of the Kansas Wesleyan Coyotes, Pat Strothman. The time has finally come. It's the final game of the regular season for the Kansas Wesleyan Coyotes, and they are hoping to end the campaign uh, on a high note with an upset special. Welcome back, everyone, with studio engineer Melissa Pham and color analyst Stan Fleming. I'm Pat Strauffman. You're listening to the Kansas Wesleyan pregame show presented by Solutions for Life. Our nightcap features the 17-11 and 11 Kansas Wesleyan Coyotes and the number 14 Oklahoma Wesleyan Eagles. Last time out, Kansas Wesleyan went to Ottawa and walked into a hornet's nest. The number six Braves had their sights set on a KCAC championship, and they grabbed it with a dominating 86-64 victory. With the loss, the Coyotes fell to 14-9 in conference play, tied for six in the KCAC with Bethel. For Oklahoma Wesleyan, the Eagles edged the Bethel Threshers 82-77. Oklahoma Wesleyan started slow, falling behind because of a 22-9 burst, but the Eagles turned to their defense and bounced back, claiming their 22nd victory on the season. This is the Kansas Wesleyan pregame show presented by Solutions for Life, your one stop for all your retirement needs. Whether you're thinking about Medicare, dental, long-term care, insurance, or annuities, call Randy Russell with any questions that you may have. 785-452-8039. 785-452-8039. That's 785-452-8039. Coming up on the Kansas Wesleyan pregame show, head men's basketball coach Anthony Munson and the Kansas Contractors Association Road to Success. You're listening to Coyote Basketball. Hi, I'm Randy Russell with Solutions for Life. Are you nearing Medicare age or already on Medicare and seeing your rates go higher and higher? If so, then give me a call. As an independent insurance agent, I can compare multiple companies in just seconds. Let's sit down and decide which plan is right for you. Call me at 785-452-8039. That's 785-452-8039. Medicare made simple. Available 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday. Now a moment of Sage advice from Sage Products in Salina. Sage is your go-to source for industrial strength cleaning products, floor equipment, paper, pesticides, machine repair, and just about everything in between. Whether you're a maintenance supervisor, a small business, or just one in your home to look its best, stop by 732 North 9th Street in Salina, where our friendly staff will be happy to assist you. You can also visit us at officialsageproducts.com or call us at 309-1919. Sage Products, the right call every time. Welcome back again to the Kansas Wesleyan pregame show presented by Solutions for Life. I'm Pat Strothman. It's senior day for the Kansas Wesleyan Coyotes as they take on number 14, Oklahoma Wesleyan. And to talk more about that, we visit with the head men's basketball coach at Kansas Wesleyan, Anthony Munson. And coach, tough one on Wednesday falling to number six, Ottawa. Ottawa just simply couldn't miss shots. I was watching that game from my couch and I was waiting for them to miss a shot. But then I kept thinking to myself, well, this is Ottawa. A Braves team that had a lot to play for that night. They had senior day. They were looking for a share of a KCAC championship. So much was on the line for Ottawa, and the Braves certainly were able to hit some shots, and they went on to dominate that basketball game. What did you see from Wednesday night? Yeah, uh, we didn't play very well. We didn't have a whole lot of energy. Um, came out really flat. Uh, they came out, you know, wanting to clinch that conference championship. Um, you know, wanted to send their seniors out on a senior night, and they played with uh, great emotion and great focus and great energy throughout the game, and uh, we just weren't able to match it. And, uh, you know, we got down early. Um, you know, a few times we were crawling our way back, 
you know, 10, 12 points here or there, and then we would just give up another run, and then the second half was kind of like the floodgates. Uh, you know, after we kind of made a little bit of a, a charge, the floodgates opened back up again, and and so, um, you know, on the road, you can't do that. Uh, you got to give them all the credit in the world. They played their tails off, and they, and they played hard. Uh, it's probably the best effort I've seen out of them on the defensive end all year, and, and uh, you know, they deserve to win that game. Maybe the only main positive about that basketball game on Wednesday was how hard A.J. Range played. Ended up pulling down a career-high 18 rebounds, had 21 points, another double-double for A.J. This guy's been steady Eddie here for 2019, 2020. What would you see from A.J. on Wednesday? Uh, the same thing I see every single game. Uh, you know, he's a focal point of the, of the defense. Uh, they double him. They, they try to beat him up. Uh, they try to get the ball out of his hands. Uh, he continues to battle. He continues to work. He's an absolute warrior. Um, you know, and you just got to give him a lot of credit for never giving up in that entire game. I mean, he fought his tail off to the very end. And, uh, you know, without him, that score probably would have been a, a lot worse, too. And so, um, you know, you're right. AJ has been the steady rock all year. He's been the consistent force uh, on both ends of the floor. Um, you know, you can pretty much pencil in, you know, 12 to 15, 16 points and close to 10 rebounds a night. And, uh, you know, we need him to do that, um, you know, that same performance that he gave against Ottawa. We're going to need that tonight. Last Saturday, Miles Kaler and Trey Gilbert, they stepped on the floor and played some big-time minutes against McPherson. On Wednesday night, I saw that they combined for nine points. Now, you know, you can make the argument on when those points were, were scored, but at the same time, Miles and Trey, they seemed like they, they made steps forward, took steps forward for you on Wednesday night. Yeah, they're playing hard. They're, they're trying to do the things the right way. They're they're playing on the defensive end. They're, they're you know, being as focused as, as they can, and... Uh, you know, they're doing a really good job for us. And so, um, you know, they're going to get opportunities again tonight at some point. And uh, I fully expect that they'll be better tonight um, than they've been in the past two games. Um, you know, hopefully they've got a little confidence, too, going um, for themselves. But they've done a great job. And, uh, you know, the main reason is, is there's, a, there's a focus and, a, and an energy level with them when they play um, that they refuse to not, you know, have on the court when they're there. So, um, you know, they're going to do a good job for us. Um, you know, happy to see them continue to develop and continue to grow. And, uh, you know, hopefully they can make some big shots for us. Talking with Anthony Munson, Edmonds basketball coach at Kansas Wesleyan, here on the Kansas Wesleyan pregame show presented by Solutions for Life. Coach, it's Senior Day 2020, and this year's group is sort of an interesting group because of, well, you look at Zay Wilson and Andre Harris. They're both one-year players. You have James Brooks, who transferred in from Pratt CC. And then you have Brendan Ganaway, who transferred in from Southern U, but he came in with three years to spare here at KWU when you take a look at this senior group. I know that this year they wanted things to be a little bit different, but yet here they are ending out their careers. Yeah, I mean it's kind of a, the transfer group um, I guess if you want to call it that. You know, Rashawn Allen's also part of this group sure. um, tonight, and so um, you know, they've, they've done a lot for this program. Um, they've helped us continue to compete um, with the best teams in the league, and you know, we're going on our third straight trip to the conference tournament, and so um, they've been a huge part of that, obviously. Um, you know, this is the third year in a row, so they've been a part of at least two of it for the most part. And then, you know, with Zay and Andre, you know, they've come in and they've, they've provided some, you know, that upperclassman, elder statesman, um, you know, experience that, you know, we've needed. And, uh, you know, they've all done a, a good job um, throughout moments of, of their career here. And so, um, you know, they're a reason why we're, um, you know, continue to compete at the, the top end of the, the conference. The reason why we continue to make the conference tournament. And if we have a chance to win tonight, I guarantee they're going to be the reasons why. Tonight's opponent, the Oklahoma Wesleyan Eagles, and this is a very interesting game to meet, Coach, simply because this could be a potential showdown next week in the opening round of the KCAC postseason tournament, except they'll be down in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. With that being said, how much maybe do you try to show in a game like this when you know that there could be a chance of facing the same team next week? Uh, I, I don't believe in that a whole lot. You know, you, you go out trying to win the game. Um, I believe winning, winning the game provides confidence um, for the next time you play them. And I think, you know, if you if you play it safe, um, you're going to get run out of your gym um, doing that against them. And so we're going to come out. We're going to throw everything we possibly can at them um, for the simple fact that there's other scenarios where we don't go to Bartlesville if yeah. we win. And so, um, you know, we, we want to give ourselves the best seating we possibly can. <laughs> and then... Whoever we end up playing in the tournament, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So um, tonight's all about sending the seniors out on the win. It's all about, you know, finishing the season, the regular season out with the win. 
you know, getting to 18 wins would be the most wins we've had since 2007 in this program. And so, um, you know, we've tied last year's win total of 17. Um, that would be a nice accomplishment as well. And so, um, you know, we're going to this full throttle. We're going to throw the kitchen sink, everything we got at them, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, Coach. Best of luck. Thanks, Pat. That's Anthony Munson, head men's basketball coach at Kansas Wesleyan, here on the Kansas Wesleyan pregame show presented by Solutions for Life. Up next, tip off. You're listening to Coyote Basketball. Hi, I'm Randy Russell with Solutions for Life. Are you nearing retirement and wondering, do I have enough money to retire? What if we have another stock market crash? Or how long will my money last? These are tough questions, but I have the answers. Give me a call today to discuss your plans for retirement. My number is 785-452-8039. That's 785-452-8039. I'm available 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday. Lowest rates, flexible plans, exceptional customer service, and coverage for everywhere you are. Say goodbye to being just a number. Say hello to something different at Next Tech Wireless. Mowry Clinic in Salina is proud to support Kansas Wesleyan University Athletics. Remember, a healthy yote is a happy yote, and the expert team of physicians at Mowry Clinic is available for all your health care needs. Visit MoweryClinic.com and discover why you matter more at Mowry. And now, the starting lineup for your Kansas Wesleyan Coyotes. Pacing up on the wing. Up top of the Ganaway. Gets hit by Jeff Salas. Ganaway picks it up straight away. Three. He hit it. Brendan Ganaway with 12. Coyotes are within 10. Brendan Ganaway, senior, point guard, Houston Tips. James Brooks, senior, shooting guard, front net, Kansas. Andre Harris, senior, shooting guard, Sioux City. Zay Wilson, senior forward, Austin, Texas. AJ Reigns, Jr. for Junction City, Kansas. Tip-off is coming your way next. This is Coyote Basketball. Are you tired of the same old Salina, Kansas bar scene? Try the Hideaway Bar, a hidden gem tucked away off South Broadway. It has a clean, brand new interior with an extremely friendly staff, an awesome atmosphere, the coldest drinks, not one but two patio areas, happy hour every weekday from 11 to 6. What are you waiting for? The Hideaway Bar, 540 Willis, just off South Broadway near the Cloud Intersection. Find them on Facebook. Solutions for Life, your one stop for all your retirement needs. FM 104.9 Salina, a rocking M media station. Welcome back to May B Arena, home to the Kansas Wesleyan Coyotes in our location for the final game of the regular season here for 2019-2020. Alongside color analyst Dan Fleming and studio engineer Melissa Pham, I'm Pat Strathman. You heard the starting five of KWU. Let's roll through the starting five for number 14, Oklahoma Wesleyan. Eagles are 22-7 and seven on the season, 17-6 and six in conference play. Coached by Donnie Bostwick. Austin Poling starts at the point, a six-foot freshman from Trophy Club, Texas, averaging six points, four rebounds a game. Brooks Haddock is the leading scorer for the Eagles, averaging 17 points per game. He's a 6'2 sophomore out of Oklahoma. Lance Tipton is kind of the glue guy for the Eagles, a 6'5 senior, transfer out of Sagu, averaging 11 points, eight rebounds a day. Caleb Stokes, a 6'6 freshman from Tulsa, Oklahoma, having a nice freshman campaign, an average of 11 points, five rebounds a contest. And Jansen Litsky rounds out the uh, starting five for the Eagles, a 6'6 junior from Owasso, Oklahoma, an average of seven points, five rebounds a game. Poling, Haddock, Tipton, Stokes, and Litsky, the five for OKWU. Kansas Wesleyan is 17 and 11 on the campaign. 14-9 in conference play. Coached by Anthony Munson in season number four. The five again for Kansas Wesleyan. Brendan Ganaway, six-foot senior out of Southern University. James Brooks, 6'2", a senior from Frontenac, Kansas. Andre Harris, a 6'2", a senior out of Sioux City, Iowa. Zay Wilson, a 6'6", senior from Austin, Texas. And A.J. Range, a 6'6", junior out of Junction City High School. A.J.'s been steady Eddie, averaging 14 points, 9 rebounds a game. Brennan Ganaway has been great here in his final season with the Coyotes, averaging 14 points tonight. And James Brooks normally has been coming off the bench, an average of 12 points, 4 rebounds a game. 
Time now for the Kansas Contractors Association Road to Success. Since 1923, the Kansas Contractors Association has been the recognized leader for our state's transportation industry. From one generation to the next, KCA members are proud to build Kansas roads and bridges for a better future. Visit them at WeBuildKansas.com. Well, Dan, this Oklahoma Wesley team, top 15 in the nation for a reason. This Eagle team wants to get up in your shorts, and they want to force turnovers, crash the glass. They do pretty much everything the right way. That is why they're a top 15 team. Hey, they're they're definitely not last year's team, but they're a very good team. And Wesleyan, this is a great tune-up for postseason play to get these guys at your place, come out and play your best game, and uh, get ready to go on to the postseason. But uh, what an opponent tonight. It doesn't get any better than this to get a ranked team in here in your house. And uh, let's just give them the business and move on to postseason. Well, easier said than done as Say Wilson is in the center circle. Coyotes with the home whites. Coyotes across the chest and purple with gold trim for Oklahoma Wesleyan. It's Caleb Stokes. And the tap is won by Zay Wilson of KWU. Oklahoma Wesleyan with the road navies. OKWU across the chest and red with white outline. AJ Range from the block. Dribbles, rips through, and coming down and smacking the ball away is Brooks Haddock getting the steal for Oklahoma Wesleyan. Eagles move left to right, inside maybe arena, pulling, sprinting down the left baseline, throwing it to the right corner. Three for Stokes out the right side of the backboard, and it looks like Stokes came down and got fouled by Zay Wilson. All right, so Zay Wilson with a foul while trying to box out, it seems like. Yeah, it was after the three-point shot, actually, and he came over and uh, got up underneath him, but the official called it on the floor. I don't know. Maybe there's a chance for a little flopping opportunity there. Austin Poling, a left-handed runner from the left elbow, swirls out the mark, and KVU has the rebound. Early on here in this contest, James Brooks and the Coyotes have possession. Andre Harris to the right wing. One of four seniors here for KWU. Ganaway underneath the range. Rises from the right block. Halfway down. Spits out. And a battle for the rebound. And Poling falls to the ground as range runs into him. So the two post players here for Kansas Westland. They each come up with a foul in the first 59 seconds of the game. Yeah, a lot of contact on that shot when range went up. And then they got him for the loose ball on the rebound. Oklahoma Wesleyan up basketball. Still looking for that first bucket here for tonight. The Eagles are the number two seed right now unless they lose. Here's a two from Lance Tipton for the right elbow. It ends up being short. Rebound again away. I had the range. Takes a dribble to the right block. Throws it up and muscles it home off the window as the Coyotes draw first blood inside maybe arena. Yeah, nice job by range getting it down faced up. Once again, big contact, but he was able to finish that time. 2-0 in favor of KWU. A minute and a half into the contest. Poling quickly down the right baseline to a cutter, and Litsky around the rim, blows the shot, ball free, and Litsky just trying to wrap up A.J. Range. And Well, now I'm concerned here. Is it going to be a hell ball, or did the player touch the ball with being out of bounds? They're going to say hell ball, and that means the red arrow is in favor of OKWU. Yeah, just not much you can do there. Range just had it covered up like a fumble in the lane, and they just went over and stuck a hand in there and got the quick whistle. Tipton inbounds to Litsky in the right corner. Not a three-point threat, but there's Brooks Haddock, a right-wing three. He is one. That's off the mark, and the ball got tapped out of bounds to the far side. Tipton's the one who had a chance at the foul line, but he's the one that hit it out of play as KWU has possession of the basketball once again. Yeah, Tipton went up for the rebound, and Litsky's own guy came over and clobbered him. Two minutes into the contest, 2-0 in favor of Kansas Wesleyan. Harris pops out to receive the rock right wing to the top with a dribble. Now right wing to James Brooks. Left-handed drive in the paint. Zips it left wing to a Brendan Ganaway. Driving left baseline, stops, plays it to the top. Brooks straightaway three, rims out to the left, and Litsky tracks down the rebound for OKWU. Both teams a little cold to start. Eagles 0 for 5. Coyotes 1 for 3. Here's Tipton, right low post jumper. No. Litsky with a tap on the weak side. That's off the mark. Ball is free. Harris trying to get the rebound, and the Coyotes finally clear it. 
Quickly ahead, Range on the right block, dribbles, spins, shoots, and banks it through. Range got by two defenders, and the Coyotes are now on top 4 nothing after the second bucket by the Big Phillip. Yeah, Range knows what to do when he catches the ball down there. Need to get Zay involved in the offense a little bit. Sometimes he just looks like he's asleep at the wheel. Tipped in top of the arc. Zips it to the right side of the Haddock, who takes a dribble to the top. Now right side of the Haddock, three. No, it's off the back of the rim. And a weak side board for Brendan Gainaway of KWU. The senior from Houston swings it to the right wing. Brooks, three. That one's deep. And Austin Poling checks down the basketball here for the Eagles. Haddock sprinting the other way, spinning to the left elbow. Underneath here to Litsky. Bagging his way in for the left side. Skips the right side to Brooks Haddock. Trying to attack. Stops underneath to a cutter. Here is Stokes. A shot blocked by Zay Wilson at the top of the summit. Coyotes go the other way. Brooks to the rim. Left side gets bumped. And it's staying here with KWU after the first foul on OKWU. It's Austin Poling. It couldn't move fast enough. And now we see a hockey line change. This is what the Eagles do. They go five in, five out. Brandon Bird, 6'4", sophomore from Denton, Texas, is on. Also here, Lentz Ramey, a 6'3", a junior transfer to UT Tyler. And we'll get to the others here shortly as the Coyotes have the ball left wing. Ball moves right wing now to Brandon Ganaway, who head fakes. Got Taylor Miller up in the air, a 6'1", freshman from Fresco, Texas. Here's Andre Harris, sets his feet, pops the right corner three. It's long. And the rebound collected by Oklahoma Wesleyan. Coyotes 0 for 3 from beyond the arc. One of the ball inside is Max Valentino, a 6'5 freshman from Argyle, Texas. To the top of Taylor Miller. Angle dribble to the right, now to the top. Three for Valentino. Off the front of the rim, off the glass, and down to James Brooks here for KWU. 15.50 to go here in the first. 4 nothing. Coyotes. Ganaway, quick three, swirls off the mark. And Oklahoma Wesleyan sweeps up the rebound. Miller quickly the other way. Pulls up and sends it to the right to Bird. Now to Valentin Van Putin. Up top to Ramey. Three. It does off the right side of the rim, but tracking the rebound is Brandon Bird here for Oklahoma Wesleyan. Takes off down the right baseline. Zips a pass to the middle. It's stolen. Ball the other way. Here's Brooks to the rim. And Brooks lays it in with a left hand as KWU's lead is now 6 0. Yeah, nice job by Kansas Wesleyan taking advantage of the turnover. Oklahoma Wesleyan 0 for 11. Eagles behind 6 0 as we're five minutes into the game. Step back three for Miller. Left side. Bally misses wide right. Zay Wilson snatches the rebound for Kansas Wesleyan. Coyotes trot up the basketball. Brooks skies it past the range. Out to Gataway. Dribbles to the foul line. Plays it out to Brooks. Three ball. He knocks it in. James Brooks with his 57-3. And a timeout here for Oklahoma Wesleyan. 9-0 KWU. 14-48 to play in the first half. It's a 30-second pause. We'll be back after this. You're listening to Coyote Basketball. Hi, I'm Randy Russell with Solutions for Life. Are you nearing Medicare age or already on Medicare and seeing your rates go higher and higher? If so, then give me a call. As an independent insurance agent, I can compare multiple companies in just seconds. Let's sit down and decide which plan is right for you. Call me at 785-452-8039. That's 785-452-8039. Medicare made simple. Available 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday. Kansas Wesleyan with an early 9-0 advantage over number 14 Oklahoma Wesleyan. Eagles are 0 for 12 to open up this game. A little bit cold here on the road in Salina. Under 15 minutes to play in the first half. Eagle basketball following the timeouts. Ball gets skipped to the left wing there, Ramey. Attacking left baseline, gets caught off. Out to the perimeter. Back to Ramey, left wing. Steps around a pick, thigh about the three. To the top to Van Putin. Gives it off here to Bird, who angles to the left side. Shock like the four. Bird gets it off in time. Goes back to him as it was long. And then he pulls out after the offensive rebound. Van Putin top of the arc. Pass to the right side. He got hit away by a coyote, but that's because of a reach him. Third team foul on Kansas Wesleyan and a second on Zay Wilson as Coach Anthony Munson goes to his bench for the first time here tonight. Trey Duffy, 6'5", freshman out of Seaman High, checks in 
Peyton Hatter, 6'7", sophomore from Wichita North, a normal starter. He's on the floor. Ball inbounded to the far side, near turnover, but Bird saves it, chucks it to the right low post. Chopper Valentino blocked by Trey Duffy from behind, and the Coyotes pull away with the basketball. Brooks steps into a top key three. He got it. James Brooks with his second triple, and the Coyotes are on top, 12-0. 13.45 to go first down. Yeah, they're taking advantage of bad defense by this second five. But I will say this about Oklahoma Wesleyan second five. They're not afraid to shoot the ball. They just haven't made anything yet. Well, this second five normally is the one that brings a lot more energy. Here's Brandon Bird, right wing three. That's off the back of the rim. Trey Duffy, skies high for the rebound for Kansas Wesleyan. Brooks thought about the triple at the top and sends it to the left wing to Andre Harris. Now right side, Gandaway. Brooks steps out, has the ball right wing. Chucks it to Duffy. Hops in the air, throws it to the top of the Hatter. Swings it right wing to Brooks. The senior driving down the right baseline. Got by the defense and lays it home. James Brooks with 10 to 14 here to open his senior night. Welcome to the game, Mr. Brooks. Great job. James has had so many issues here for his senior campaign, but he's off to a great start tonight. 14-0 14-0 KWU. Quick three. Ramey right wing. That one falls home. And the Eagles are finally on the board. Snapping an 0 for 15 streak from the floor. 12.40 to play here in the half. 14-3 KWU. Brooks heat check three left wing. This one's deep. And it bounces to an Eagle. That's Taylor Miller. Zips it to the right. And Burr goes to the rim. And somehow... Hatter hit the ball at the cup. So a block for Kansas Wesleyan. Out of the way, transition three. Harris right wing lines it short. Ball bounces into the corner. Saved by Oklahoma Wesleyan's Valentino. But he zips it out of bounds. It's staying here with the home standing Coyotes. They bring on some more reinforcements. Brayden White being one of them. A normal starting point guard. 5'11 junior from Washburn Rural High School. Dylan Hahn also into the game. 6-3 freshman from Piedmont, Oklahoma. 14-3 KWU. Eight minutes into the first half here. Brendan Ganaway from the left wing. Behind the back dribble. Skies a pass into the corner and overshoots Brayden White for the second Coyote turnover. Another substitution. Savian Edwards, freshman out of Washburn Rural High School. Replacing up Brendan Ginnowit. <clears throat> Oklahoma West End basketball with a fresh five. Here's Brooks Haddock. Pull up jumper from the foul line and he drills the J. And this group now all of a sudden looking a little bit more refreshed as Brooks Haddock leading scores on the board here tonight. 14 of 5. Coyotes on top. 11 and a half to play first half. Alberts right wing with it. Looking at this defense of Oklahoma Wesleyan. A man-to-man defense with a sagging D. Here's White to the foul line. Bounces it underneath Duffy. Catches and lifts off from the left low post. And banks it through high off the window. First bucket for the Duffman. Yeah, nice job for Trey. Getting it uh, posted up and a nice little spin move. 16-5. Coyote advantage. 11-12 to play first half. Had it got free. Straight away three. Rims out and Trey Duffy. Sky's high for the rebound for Wesleyan. Hahn to the left side to Brandon White with the pass. White taking off right lane. Now needs self and sends it out to Savian Edwards right front court. Back to Brandon White. One junior blue to another. We're under 11 minutes left here in the first half. 16 to 5 in favor of the Coyotes. Shot clock to 9. Edwards to the right short corner. Left hand away side dribble. Pull up J from 12. Savian buries a J with an eagle all draped over him. 18-5, Coyotes after the bucket. Yeah, it'd be great to see that kid get going a little bit. Usually it's one shot, and then he disappears. But uh, let's see if he can't get a couple knockdowns tonight. Attacking on the left baseline is Stokes. A right-handed a floater is deep. And then Litsky had the rebound and threw it off the nose of Peyton Hatter as the ball was about to go out of play. So staying here with the Eagles as they break their 5-5 five five out strategy. Caleb Stokes goes sprinting off the bench. On the floor is Kayvon Boston, a 5'9", junior out of Houston, Texas. Baseline right for Lance Tipton. Inbounds to Brooks Haddock. Down the right baseline, stops. Up top the pulling, tries from deep and hits from deep. 
Just his 24th three on the season. That's the third field goal for the Eagles here tonight as they're within 10. Yeah, nice drive down the baseline by Haddock. Draw the defense, kick it out top for the three. Midway through the first period, 18-8 KWU. Dylan Hahn with a rock left left wing uh, surveying the floor. Now to the top to Edwards. Reverses right wing to White, attacking. Uh, whips a pass left wing to Hahn. Up top to Edwards. Down right baseline to the rim. Right hand runner, no. A.J. Ranger just subbed in, had a chance at a rebound, uh, but it's poked out of play. Last touch by the big Blue Jay out of Junction City, A.J. Range. It's Oklahoma Wesleyan basketball. Yeah, nice drive by Savian. A little curl in the lane. It just rolled off for it. Oklahoma Wesleyan, number two in the conference at 47% from the floor. And right now the Eagles are just 14. They are ice cold here in Salina. Here's Litsky trying to save the ball in, and he got bailed out because he was trying to throw it off a of Kyle on the baseline. Ended up going to Lance Tipton, who gets fouled around the rim for a pair of free throws. Fourth foul on Kansas Wesleyan and the first on Peyton Hatter here in the half. Yeah, that was a guilt call right there, man. They have let him bang down there. There's been bodies on the floor, and every time somebody's went up to the rim, there's been somebody banging in him, and the official gave him the late whistle on that one and uh, sent him to the free throw line. Tipped in a 77% foul line shooter. Bricks the first one. He had 16 points. Four or six from beyond, beyond the arc down in Barrowsville against Kansas Wesleyan uh, way back on January 11th. His second free throw was perfect to make it a single-digit ball game, 18-9. to nine. Coyotes ahead, 9-20 left here in the first period. Braden White from the left wing. Hops to the top, now to a cutting high. Pull-up jumper left elbow, leaves it short. Range had a chance on the board, but goes to the top of the haddock for the Eagles. Ahead to Poling. Hangs in the air, passes left corner. Kayvon Boston, three. It's short, ball to the weak side. And then the rebound got tapped down to A.J. Range here for Wesleyan. That's KWU. Braden White to the top to A.J. Range. Reverses left wing to Dylan Hahn. Hahn thought about the triple. Instead, brings it up to the top. Zips it into the right corner to Edwards. Out the white, extra pass left wing. Hahn triple. That's off the back of the rim. Weak side rebound. Had a collision. Pulling falls to the ground. Colliding with them is Peyton Hatter of Kansas Wesleyan. And he's the one who commits the foul. That's his second team foul number five. And James Brooks stepping on the floor. Replacing Peyton Hatter. Who just got a second. Yeah, Hatter disagreed with that. And it was a tough call there. The uh, player getting the rebound. Looked like he was falling down a little bit. And Hatter just uh, helped him go down. Tough call. 18-9, Kansas Wesleyan. Oklahoma Wesleyan basketball, eight and a half to play, first period. Polling, spinning in the lane. Scooper left hand, left side, got by Hahn, and he banks it through. Polling was held scoreless against Kansas Wesleyan in the first go around. He's got five of the 11 here for the Eagles. A.J. Rain draws the crowd, kicks the right side. Hahn, three, a thud's off the back of the rim, and a pin balls to Boston here for OKWU. Boston checks behind him, gives it off to Haddock. Down the middle, now to the right side. Litsky arises, banks it through from the right low post, and a timeout here for Coach Anthony Munson. An 8-0 run here for the Eagles to make it 18-13 at Kansas Wesleyan. Eight minutes to play first half. We'll be back after 30 seconds. You're listening to Coyote Basketball. Hi, friends. If Santa didn't show up with the fun new phone you wanted, Get yourself to Next Tech Wireless right now and take advantage of the great deal we're running. Your old phone is still worth a free iPhone 11 or a Galaxy S10e. And your number is still worth a Ring Video Doorbell 2, also free. Plus, you get four lines for $120 and all unlimited data. These great options are ending soon, so don't miss out. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. Kansas Wesleyan with a five-point cushion, 18-13, eight minutes left here in the first period. Coyotes, however, scored the first 14 points of the game, being outscored 13-4 at the moment here for Oklahoma Wesleyan. After the Coyote timeout, they have the Rock, White sprinting to the rim, hangs in the air, falls to the ground, and throws it through the left hand. Nifty move by Braden White. Quick bucket there for Kansas Wesleyan. Eagles flying the other way, and they have a brand-new five after that timeout. 
on the left side with the basketball here for Oklahoma Wesley and it's Miller. Van Putin, Valentino, Ramey, and Bird are the five here for the Eagles. Miller hopped in the lane and had the ball ripped away by Coyote. Here's Edwards, here a move, Ryan is Scooper, kissed in by the freshman out of Washburn Rural High School. Back-to-back big buckets for Kansas Wesley. Yeah, this is Savion's type of game, man. Get up and down, the fastest guy to the other end wins. 22-13, KWU. 7-10 to go in the first period. Van Poon trying to back in. Plays a left point in the Miller. Hedgehogs in the lane. Hangs in the air. Drifting right side. Shoots from seven. And it's off the front of the lid. Rebound the k Ahead the Brooks. Hangs in the air. Left-handed scooper. Got a little fancy with it. Went too high off the backboard. Oklahoma Wesleyan flying the other way. Lentz Ramey gets free for a straightaway three. That's from 28. That's off the back of the rim. But there's Miller with the rebound for the Eagles. Kicks a left point to Van Putin. And now we have a three-second and a lane violation. Called against Oklahoma Wesleyan results in turnover number three here for the Eagles. It's easy enough to do. The big men get down, try to get themselves a little bit in position, and then three or four passes around the outside. And the passes, Oklahoma Wesleyan, they're crisp, man. They're fast, hard passes. You get to watching that ball and get caught for the three. K Bob Boston on the floor here for Oklahoma Wesleyan. Coyotes bring on Miles Kaler, a sophomore out of Athens, Texas. Starting to get some more playing time late here in the season. Six and a half to go, first period, 22-13 Coyotes. Kaler left wing, shot clock reads 10. To white top of the arc, hops to the foul line, plays a right wing, Ganaway deep three, uh, does at the back of the rim. Three Eagles went for the rebound, and they almost lost it, but Van Putin snatches it here for Oklahoma Wesleyan. Takes off down the right baseline. Sends a pass into the left corner of the Boston, who dribbles up to the left wing, pops the triple, and connects. His first three on the night as the Eagles crawl to within six. Range, right block, had the ball hit away, but that's because of a reach by an Oklahoma Wesleyan Eagle. They charge it to Valentin Van Putin. That's his first, second foul on the Eagles. And it's staying here with the Coyotes with Trey Gilbert stepping on the floor as well as C.J. Weathers here for Kansas Wesleyan. Yeah, one of the things this second group does is they're a little different defense. They're a little faster, and they're collapsing on range trying to take the ball out of his hands. C.J. Weathers has the ball. Kick out to the right corner. Out to Gilbert. Now he exchanges with Gannaway. No look past the Brooks, who rises above the free throw line on the J, and he hits James Brooks with his fifth bucket already. He's got 12 of the 24 here for KWU. 24-16 Coyotes, five and a half to play first period. Back in the way in, Valentino shoots from seven off the left side of the rim, and it goes out of play. Last touch by the Eagles, so Coyotes have the basketball with an eight-point cushion, and Coach Donnie Boswick to her left, hanging on to that black Bible of his and his right hand. Brings on two new players, Lentz Ramey being one of them, and Brooks Haddock being the other. Also, not to mention, Lance Tipton on the floor for OKWU. 5-16 left in the half. 24-16 Coyotes. Brooks kicking at left corner. Kaler sets up for the three. He hit it. Miles Kaler with his sixth triple here for the season. Third three for Kansas Wesleyan. Coyotes are 3-12 from beyond the arc. Answer, Ramey, left corner, you bet. Ramey with his second three-pointer, a 54% shooter from beyond the arc this season. 27-19 KWU, 4-14, make it 4-40 to go here in the first half. Weathers trying to squeeze it through to Gil- Bill Gilbert. He got the ball, but then he had a center pass left side of Kaler. And then Kaler turns the ball over, telegraphed the pass to the far side. Tipton got the steal and goes the distance for an easy two. 27 to 21, KWU. 4-18 left here in the half. Ganaway out to the left wing. Kaler three. He got another. Miles Kaler with his second three. And the Coyotes are back out to a nine-point cushion. Yeah, Kaler's found his spot out there, man. Just keep coming to him until it wears out. 30-21, 30-21, to KWU. Four minutes left here in the half. Ramey up top. Van Putin turns down the three. Explodes left lane. Hot shoots before then a walk. Van Putin's kind of an interesting character because 
He's got so much quickness, but he's got that herky-jerky motion. And sometimes he spazzes out, and that time he got caught with extra steps. Yeah, he got he, he did the he did the jump and got to his spot, but he didn't get it. He wasn't on his dominant leg when he tried to switch feet. Then he got his travel call. Trey Gilbert has the ball swung left wing to Brandon Ganaway. Ganaway without a bucket so far. Ganaway attacks the middle out to Trey Gilbert. Hands to the air, passes right side. Free ball in the corner by Kaler. He hit it again. Miles Kaler, the sophomore, with three threes as the Kyle lead is out to 12. 33 21 Coyotes, 319 remaining in the half. Timeout here for the Eagles. We'll come back after full after a full TO. You're listening to Coyote Basketball. It's all about the specials at Burger Theory, featuring different $6.99 lunch specials every weekday. My favorites, the Build Your Own Burger on Mondays or Friday's Juicy Lone Star Burger, including sides, all for just $6.99. Breakfast specials weekday mornings as well, including coffee, just $6.99. And on Thursdays, kids 12 and under, accompanied by two adults, eat free. Burger Theory also welcomes carryouts. It's Burger Theory inside the Holiday Inn, just south of Lowe's in Salina. Lowest rates, flexible plans, exceptional customer service, and coverage for everywhere you are. Say goodbye to being just a number. Say hello to something different at Next Tech Wireless. Mowry Clinic in Salina is proud to support Kansas Wesleyan University Athletics. Remember, a healthy yote is a happy yote, and the expert team of physicians at Mowry Clinic is available for all your health care needs. Visit MoweryClinic.com and discover why you matter more at Mowry. Sophomore Miles Kaler with a career high nine points in just little time. Three minutes of work, three for three from the floor, all from beyond the arc, giving Kansas Wesleyan a 33 21 lead over number 14 Oklahoma Wesleyan. 3 19 to go here in the first half. Yeah, Kaler's got it going, man, and give Wesleyan credit. They're giving him the heat check and letting him fire away. Oklahoma Wesleyan basketball after the second TO for Donnie Boswick. He was the KCAC Coach of the Year a season ago. Lance Tipton from the left side backs in. A right-handed hook from seven. Pinballs out. Out the polling in the paint. And he rises from seven and throws it home. He's up to seven points after being held scoreless down in Barlesville, Oklahoma. Here with these two teams meeting up for the first time. 33-23 KWU. 2.45 to go in the half. Kaler from the right corner turns down the three. Up top to Brooks, he tries from deep. Swirls up, C.J. Weathers trying to get the board, but he goes to Van Putin of Oklahoma Wesleyan. Eagles the other way, Ramey from the right wing, sends it inside, Van Putin catches, and he lets the traffic go by as Van Putin is finally on the board, coming off the bench with his first bucket. Nice job running the floor by the Eagles. Back to an eight-point Coyote lead, 33-25. 2.15 to play in the first half. Ganaway out high between the rings. Looking to attack, he does, but then he sends a pass to the right side. Overshoots his target. Winds up being the fourth turnover here on Kansas Wesleyan. Oklahoma Wesleyan shuffling the lineup just a tad. On the floor is Kasdan Amons, a 6-1 sophomore out of Conway Springs, Kansas. Brooks Haddock also back on the floor here for the Eagles' leading scorer. He has a top of the arc. Trey Gilbert is guarding him. Haddock to a cutter and pulling. Probably got away with a walk as he pulls out with a dribble. Out to the left wing. Tipped in. Tries from deep. Draws the front of the rim. Rebound. Ganaway. Rifles a pass ahead. Brooks catches. Goes to the rim. And gets fouled by Tipton. Great recognition by Brandon Ganaway. A beautiful dime that forced the issue. Lance Tipton forced the foul. His first. Team foul number four on the Eagles. Make it three on the Eagles. And James Brooks getting ready to add to his already impressive start here in the first half. Yeah, he probably could have got the layup, man, but he showed the ball to the defender, let the defender reach in on him, and then tried to get it. That's the way to do it. Instead of letting the defender come to you and make contact first, you make first contact as the offensive player and then try to get it up on the rim. Brooks rims in on the first one. Second try, also perfect. 14 points for James here for his senior nights out of front of that Kansas. Back to a double-digit Coyote lead, 35-24. A minute 40 showing here in the first period. Tipton sets his feet, fires a straightaway three. 
Brooks wasn't there to cover him, and Tipton splashes in his first three here for tonight. He had four of those against Kansas Wesley down in Bartlesville. Miles Kaley has three threes here tonight for KWU. Exchanges here with Brooks, and then Brooks got happy feet while trying to dribble. Ends up being a travel, so fifth turnover for KWU, allowing number 14 Oklahoma Wesleyan to get the ball and and a chance to cut into this margin some more, trailing by 7, 35-28. A minute 15 to play first half. Polling to the free throw line, pulls out. Bounces it to Amons, now to Van Putin, right short corner. Trying to back his way in on range. Plays a left corner, Amons inside to Tipton, left block. They like this matchup. Tipton works his way to left baseline, shoots, misses. Van Putin climbs the back of A.J. Range, no foul. And then a scrum uh, for the basketball in the painted area. They're gonna call a travel on A.J. Range. I don't think A.J. even had possession. And the officials out here trying to explain to coach how the player could go for a piggyback ride on A.J. AJ and not get a foul call because he claimed he had possession of the ball when he went over the top of him. I got to tell you. Well, see, and now with that being a possession, that means a shot clock of 30 instead of 20 here for Oklahoma Wesleyan. So the Eagles catch a break. Brooks Haddock, left short corner. Fadeaway jumper contested. Swirls off the mark and a weak side board for James Brooks of KWU. Coyotes will go for two for one. Gainaway taken off. Goes to the rim. Left side. And he finishes with the left-handed scooper. Great take there from Brennan Gainaway. He tried to capitalize on a quick two for one for KWU. Coyotes are ahead. Our number 14, Oklahoma West saying 37 to 28. Haddock, foul line jumper. He rattles it in. He's a talented scorer. And he has his second bucket here tonight. Yeah, that is sweet, man. He squares himself up. Great shot. Great stroke. Eight seconds to go. Shot clock turned off. Brandon Gainaway, top of the arc. Down the left lane. Runs it to Van Putin. And they get a foul called. They say a blocking foul on the ground. Now, I can't really hate the official here because he was blocked by an Oklahoma Wesleyan Eagle. I don't know what else he can do because he's calling it from the backside of Van Putin, thinking that Gainaway wasn't trying to scoop it up. Yeah, he needs help on that. He needs to look for his guys for help. 2.6 seconds remaining here in the first half. Let's key on the floor here for Oklahoma Wesleyan. The bench to our right, shouting here. Brandon Gainaway set to trigger the ball in baseline right. In the Brooks right wing, catches, fires off the left side of the rim to wrap up half number one. KWU, though, with an impressive first half here for senior night. Coyotes leading number 14, Oklahoma Wesleyan here at the break, 37 to 30. Let's take a two-minute pause, then come back for the Salina Regional Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic Halftime Show. You're listening to Coyote Basketball. Area athletes and even weekend warriors have a big home field advantage. Salina Regional's Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic. Working with athletes of every level to help prevent injuries or to heal through surgery and rehabilitation. You can count on Salina Regional Orthopedic and Sports Medicine to get you back in the game. Led by orthopedic surgeons, Drs. Timothy Hawks and Travis Rump, and sports medicine physician, Dr. Matthew Pyle, along with an A-team of certified athletic trainers and physical therapists, Salina Regional Orthopedic and Sports Medicine provides athletes with the highest quality, most timely care. At the school, on the field, or in our clinic, we're ready wherever and whenever you need us to help you get back in the game and keep you in the game. Salina Regional Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic. The home field advantage starts here. Visit us at SalinaRegionalSportsMedicine.com. Hi, I'm Randy Russell with Solutions for Life. Are you nearing Medicare age or already on Medicare and seeing your rates go higher and higher? If so, then give me a call. As an independent insurance agent, I can compare multiple companies in just seconds. Let's sit down and decide which plan is right for you. Call me at 785 752-8039. That's 785-452-8039. Medicare made simple. Available 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday. Hi, friends. If Santa didn't show up with the fun new phone you wanted, get yourself to Next Tech Wireless right now and take advantage of the great deal we're running. 
your old phone is still worth a free iPhone 11 or a Galaxy S10e. And your number is still worth a Ring Video Doorbell 2, also free. Plus, you get four lines for 120 bucks and all unlimited data. These great options are ending soon, so don't miss out. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. Welcome to the Salina Regional Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic Halftime Show. Coming up, we'll recap the first half, check the stats, and get scores from other games. This is Kansas Wesleyan Basketball. Kansas Wesleyan leading number 14, Oklahoma Wesleyan here at the break, 37-30. Right now, the JV team being recognized for going undefeated here for the 2019-20 regular season. Quite a feat here for the JV squad. This is the Salina Regional Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic Halftime Show working with athletes of every level to help prevent injuries, enhance performance, or to heal through surgery and rehabilitation. At the school, on the courts, or in their clinic, they're ready wherever and whenever you need them to help you get back in the game. The home court advantage starts at Salina Regional Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic. We'll get to what happened in the first half here in just a little bit. But right now, I'm joined by the all-time winningest coach in Kansas Wesleyan women's basketball history, Ryan Showman. And, Coach, you set out for this one goal going into the 2019-20 season to win a KCAC regular season championship. You did it on Wednesday, at least getting a share for the 57-50 win over Ottawa on the road. But that wasn't enough. You told me, you said, look, man, I'm tired of sharing this, this conference championship here. Three previous KCAC championships in the regular season, all of them shared at Kansas Wesleyan. But today, you made it very apparent. Only one member belongs on top of the mountain. Only one flag deserves to be on top of the mountain this year. And it ends up being your bunch as you get a big-time victory over Oklahoma Wesleyan, 63-55, to the final Coach, just your reaction, what you saw here tonight on Senior Day. Oh, I'm so happy for this team. Uh, they, they set out this season with, with some goals that they wanted to accomplish, and, and we went out and did it. We, we checked that first box, and that was a regular season title. We knew going to the national tournament last year, we talked about it in that locker room after, uh, after we lost those arcs. We sat in the locker room, we talked about who was coming back, and we said, let's, let's change the narrative, let's raise the bar. It's no longer the expectation of getting back to the national turn, but we want to win a championship and we want to get back and we want to go and we want to make a run. And uh, these girls have put themselves in that position and I couldn't be more proud to call them the head coach. Coach, in this basketball game, you warned me that as soon as Oklahoma Wesleyan would pass the state line going from Oklahoma to Kansas, they'll be chucking threes. And that's exactly what they did here tonight. They were just firing away left and right that a 9-0 run to build a seven-point lead, 16-9. to Yet you're only down by four at the end of one, 16-12. You're only down by three at halftime, 29-26. I'm not going to lie, when we got the half, I kept looking at this going, all right, 11 turnovers for Kansas Wesleyan. Coyotes didn't shoot the ball particularly well in the first half. You only had two made threes. Oklahoma Wesleyan had five, and yet you were only down by three. Did you feel like at that moment, okay, let's tweak some things, make some shots in the second half, and all will be right in this world. Yeah, uh, it, the conversation went something like that. Um, it wasn't exactly uh, at that calm of a tone, and it uh, it wasn't exactly those words. But that was basically the conversation that that I'm not going to say we had because I didn't allow anybody to really talk. I did most of the talking at <laughs> halftime. But that was a conversation um, that we needed to do things just a little bit better, and we needed to... Uh, uh, execute a little bit better and uh, and I thought the girls really responded well to uh, to that halftime and uh, they came out and, and, and did a great job I, th I think defensively is, is is where I'm most proud because we even though we don't make sh we didn't make shots in the first half we still got stops and we still played well enough I mean holding them to 29 points is where we needed the, the game to be third quarter you closed out the third period on an 11 to 2 run and it was capped off with a last second bucket by Haley Bradford right at the buzzer. I just kind of feel like when that shot went in, it's like, all right, 
game time. Now it's time to rock and roll. Did you feel like after that bucket, it's all right, fourth quarter, time to finish this bad boy? Yeah, you felt a momentum shift um, just in the last few minutes, the last couple of possessions. Uh, you felt that momentum shift, and uh, I thought we did a great job of carrying that into the fourth quarter. Have to tally up how many free throws Courtney Hyden and Kelsey Hens made in the fourth quarter there for you, Coach. They had 11 made free throws in the fourth quarter. Courtney Hyden, I, I made a joke to, to Dan Fleming. I said, I think Coach Ryan Showman's strategy right now is give it the court, have her just run right into someone and draw a foul, and then finish at the free throw line. Her and Kelsey Hens here tonight, they had 11 free throws there in the fourth quarter for you all. They took all the free throw attempts there in the final period. How big was it to, to see the toughness here from Courtney Hyden and, and Kelsey Ince to have those two players be tough to allow you to get it done at the free throw line? Oh, it was, it was, it was, I mean, it was what we needed. You know, when you're not hitting shots, what's the, what's the best way to score? Get to the free throw line. And, <laughs> and we knew that they averaged 25 attempts, uh, their opponent, uh, a game. And so we knew that if we kept executing, we kept attacking, kept making them have to guard, uh, we were going to get some things. And, uh, and I thought, you know, we were 19 to 25. I thought we did a good job of attacking them. I thought we did a really good job of not fouling. We only put them on the line, um, you know, eight times, and we only fouled seven times for the game. Um, I thought we did a really great job of that. Well, Coach Kelsey Hinge, she finishes with her 13th double-double here for the season. Courtney Heinen ends up with 15 points here on senior day. I know Court didn't shoot the ball particularly well from the floor, but getting it done at the free throw line. But maybe the, the coolest thing going into this game, and you and I were, were chit-chatting about it, was – how Amanda Hill and Kelsey Hens, they walked up to you and said, hey, coach, we would want uh, Jamie Sloan to take our spot in the starting lineup tonight. And Jamie Sloan, before tonight, had never started a game in her Kayo career. And if it wasn't for her teammates laying down for her, who knows if that would have happened. What does that say about this program and, and these type of kids that you have in this program? We just love each other so much. Uh, they're, they're such great teammates. They're such great friends. Um, you know, it's not necessarily my policy to, to start seniors. I, I feel like the senior ceremony after the game is when we get a chance to really honor them. I know some coaches differ in that philosophy, but I got a phone call today. I was at my seven-year-old's basketball game, and I got a phone call from uh, Coach Jenkins. She said, hey, Kelsey and Amanda want to talk to you. And I immediately go negative. I'm like, oh, shoot, what's wrong? What's wrong? And they said, Coach, Jamie works so hard. Can she start in one of our spots? We don't care who it is. We want to give that up for her because she deserves it. She's, she plays hard. She works hard. She's a great teammate. And I told him, I said, yeah. I, I said, absolutely. I said, this is your idea. I want to support you. I said, I want you to uh, address the team because I was going to miss the first part of practice. I told him, I want you to address the team and talk about the, the, the changes. And uh, um, I, I'm just, I'm so proud of those two individuals. Such a selfless act to, um, to, to lay down that starting spot in, 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 a, in a big game for, for a senior who, who works so hard and is important to our team. And I mean that that's going to be every bit a a part of this of this story of this season as as it is winning a championship first outright conference championship in program history and you did it starting the conference campaign 0 and 2 here's something for you i know here's I'll, something for you i might i might have, i might have let the cat out of the bag since during two, the during the women's game since 2003 2004 <laughs> No team, no women's basketball team in the KCAC has started 0-2 and won a championship. This team is the first team since 0304. You can check DAC stats. That's where I got my info. Check DAC stats on that. Since 0304, nobody's ever started 0-2, and, uh, and this team was able to do that. We were able to to fight through that adversity, and we were able to right the ship and and, and get refocused and, and and play and play well over the grind of a 24-game season and. That is something that can never be taken away from us, and uh, and it will forever, you know, that banner's going to hang um, as long as maybe Arena stands. Not only that, too, but you have a little ring coming your way, too. You know your ring size? Little ring. It's going to be a big ring. It's going to be a big ring. Size nine, my friend. Size, size, size nine. nine. <laughs> like your shoes? Well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I, know, I know you don't have a, a size nine when it comes to your shoes. Coach, congratulations on the victory here tonight. Now let's... Get ready to take on Oklahoma Weston again, right? Hey, let's run it back. Let's run it back. <laughs> All right, Coach, thank you. Thanks, Pat. That's Ryan Showman, the head women's basketball coach at Kansas Wesleyan here on the Salina Regional Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic Halftime Show. The Kaya women, they get it done 63-55, uh, to 55, your final earlier today.
here for the guys contest. Kansas Wesleyan uh, started off the game uh, with the first 14 points scored. Uh, Oklahoma Wesley missed its first 20 shots, if I remember correctly, before the Eagles finally got their first bucket at the 1240 mark. They were able to make it a single-digit ball game. Coyotes then would push it out with three threes from Miles Kaler, leading 33-21. to 21. But the Oklahoma Wesleyan Eagles, they climbed to within seven, and that is your score and margin here at the half. 37-30, to 30, KWU over number 14, Oklahoma Wesleyan. The Eagles, 33% from the four. Check that. The Oklahoma Wesleyan Eagles are 32% from the floor. 5 of 16 uh, from beyond the arc. Just one or two at the free throw line. Eagles had four turnovers, and they were out-rebounded 18 to 17. Now they had six offensive rebounds. However, only five points off the second-chance opportunities. KWU had six turnovers. Coyotes were 48% from the floor, 5 of 16 from deep, and 2 for 2 from the free throw line. Leading the way for OKWU, Austin Poling with seven points, six for Lance Tipton on 2 of 10 shooting, two for Jansen Litsky, four points for Brooks Haddock, six for Lentz Ramey, three for Kayvon Boston, and two for Valentin Putin. I'll make it Valentin Van Putin, my apologies. For KWU, James Brooks on senior day, 14 points in the first half on 5 of 11 shooting. Four points for A.J. Range, two for Brendan Getaway, four for Sivian Edwards, nine for Miles Kaler, two for Braden White, and two for Trey Duffy. Those are your stats from half number one here inside Maybe Arena. That does it for this line of regional orthopedic and sports medicine clinic halftime show. We'll come back after a minute to you and get you ready for half number two. Your score, Kansas West saying 37, Oklahoma West saying 30. You're listening to Coyote Basketball. Hi, I'm Randy Russell with Solutions for Life. Are you nearing retirement and wondering, do I have enough money to retire? What if we have another stock market crash? Or how long will my money last? These are tough questions, but I have the answers. Give me a call today to discuss your plans for retirement. My number is 785-452-8039. That's 785 785- 452-8039. I'm available 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday. Lowest rates, flexible plans, exceptional customer service, and coverage for everywhere you are. Say goodbye to being just a number. Say hello to something different at Next Tech Wireless. Mowry Clinic in Salina is proud to support Kansas Wesleyan University Athletics. Remember, a healthy yote is a happy yote, and the expert team of physicians at Mowry Clinic is available for all your health care needs. Visit MoweryClinic.com and discover why you matter more at Mowry. Solutions for life. Your one stop for all your retirement needs. FM 104.9 Salina, a rocking M media station. Kansas Wesleyan by seven as we open up half number two. 37 to 30 over number 14, Oklahoma Wesleyan. Time to revisit the Kansas Contractors Association Road to Success. Since 1923, the Kansas Contractors Association has been the recognized leader for our state's transportation industry. From one generation to the next, KCA members are proud to build Kansas roads and bridges for a better future. Visit them at WeBuildKansas.com. Well, Dan, Kansas Wesleyan guarded pretty well in that first staff. Now, the Eagles missed a lot of wide-open shots, but I think that's because the Coyotes had something to do with that. Yeah, the Coyotes have played really well on their half-court defense, and then they just got out and pushed and pushed, kind of like the girls' games, man. If you push them and attack them, you wear them down a little bit, and it shows up on the offensive end, not so much on the defensive end. So Wesley needs to continue to board, continue to attack. Coyotes have the rock to open up half number two, inside out the Brooks, straightaway three, halfway down, spits out, rebound to Wilson, rises, gets a blocked, and then a whistle. So a quick foul here on Oklahoma Wesley, and they get it on Caleb Stokes. His first as Zay Wilson uh, squares up here for two free throws. Jordan him for the starting five. Three other seniors, Brendan Gataway, James Brooks, and Andre Harris, plus A.J. Range as Zay Wilson sticks the landing on the first free throw. Just a 39% shooter from the free throw line. Well, he got the ball where he needs to get the ball, about three feet from the basket, facing the basket, and then the big guy can do some work. Look at Zay, two for two from the free throw line. And Coach Anthony Munson lets out a big smile. It's like Yudoka has a bookie there for Kansas. 
39 to 30, KWU. Early on here, the second half, Haddock, head fake, shoots on the left elbow, looking for a foul, but no whistle. KWU taking off the other way. Here's Ganaway, you're a move to the 10, left handed scooper off the left side of the square. Brandon Ganaway with his second bucket and a quick 4 0 star here for the Coyotes. But the other way, left wing three. That's short by Stokes. Coyotes running in the way. Brooks rises, caught by Brooks Haddock. But that one's off the mark as he left it short. Eagles in the way. Tipped in three for the right corner. Air ball short. But Stokes with the rebound here for Oklahoma Wesleyan. Out to Tipton underneath as he found Jensen Litsky, who uh, banks it in for the right low post. Dan, I might need an oxygen tank here in the second half. We're going to keep up this pace. I'm telling you, and it's it, where we're seeing it too, Pat, it, is in the officiating. This is a super hard game to officiate. It certainly is. A long pass the range. Kick out left wing the Ganaway. Goes to the free throw line, and they get a charge here as Austin Poling uh, flopped to the ground. And instead of getting a flop on Poling, they charge it as a foul to Brennan Ganaway. His first and a turnover here for KWU in half number two. Yeah, that's about the only time we've seen a foul call is when they slow down and run some offense. When it's up and down on the floor, they and they let them bang, grab, push, knock each other down. 90 seconds into the second half, 41-32, KWU. Haddock to the right wing, tipped and quick three. Valley misses left side, and A.J. Range scoops up the rebound here for Kansas Wesleyan. Ball flies on the far side of Brooks to a trailer and Brandon Ganaway. Right wing Andre Harris for the rock. Dribbles to the foul line, over left to Wilson. Exchanges with Brooks, who faces up. Now he takes off down the middle. Out to Harris, three ball. He hit it. Andre Harris with a big three, his 21st on the season. And the Coyotes are now on top by 12, but Stokes gets freed up left wing for a triple. Rolls off the mark, rebound the range, and then the ball got hit away. But then the ball got tapped away from Austin Poling of Oklahoma Westland. Coyotes the other way with Brooks in the right corner, and we have a hold underneath. A.J. Range had deep positioning, and Jansen Litsky had his hands all over him for his first foul, the second foul on the Eagles here in the second half, who bring on two new reinforcements, Les Ramey being one of them, and Kayvon Boston here for OKWU. Getting away from the right baseline, throws it in to Harris, who... Dives it to the top to Brooks. Brandon Ganaway comes up to reel in a pass, looking left side. Now to the right wing to James Brooks. Andre Harris to the right wing. Now left wing to Brooks with 14 points, dribbles, slaps underneath to Wilson, and he got whacked across the arm. Jensen Litsky saw the ball freed up for a second and thought he could get a steal instead. He commits his second foul, third foul on Oklahoma Wesleyan here in the second half. Yeah, two quick ones, man. Uh, yeah, A.J. had that kid, went into the right side of the lane, backed that kid all the way over to the left side of the lane, cleared him out. Valentin been putting on the floor here for Oklahoma Wesleyan. Also, Max Valentino getting away from the right wing. Rocker step, slides to the rim, kicks it left corner. Brooks catches, fires a three, try to bank this one in, but it bounces to Max Valentino here for Oklahoma Wesleyan. Then the Eagles the other way. Valentino make that Van Poon left side, blows the easy shot. And the Eagles turn the ball over as Brandon Ganaway flies to the, the rim. Ball rotates left side of Brooks, kicks it right side of Harris. Driving, hangs in the air, scoops it up down the right lane, and a foul whistled on the Eagles. Yeah, Harris. Woo! All right, Dan. <laughs> Harris was wide open here, man, and he uh, didn't take the shot. The whole bench yelled at him, shoot! Instead, he drives and puts up the uh, dipsy do and uh, gets the bailout foul. Fourth foul on Oklahoma Wesleyan here in the second half. First one of Brooks Haddock as Andre Harris leaves the first free throw short, but it pops over and goes down through the hatch. He's 10 of 15 for the free throw line here this season. Before his second try, Brandon Bird, a 6'4 sophomore, steps on the floor. Second one for Andre. The senior nails both free throws. He's got five points all here in the second half. And the Coyote lead is out to 14. 46 to 32. 16 and a half to play here in the contest. Kayvon Boston from the right wing, driving to the free throw line. Up top to Van Putin. Zips it inside. Harris steps in front and rips the ball away for a steal here for KWU. 
Yeah, it's nice to see Andre get the action here. He's a good player, man. Does all the stuff, but he just doesn't really get his number called that off and make himself in the stat sheet. Brendan Gainaway has the basketball right wing as a, and a lot pass left side to Wilson. Catches and out throws to the top to Harris. Extra pass to the right corner. Gainaway three. This one short and it bounces over. Gainaway, the best three-point shooter for the Coyotes, has been off here tonight. 46-32, Oklahoma Westlane trailing. Four-plus minutes into the second period. Ramey deals it to the top to the big fella, Valentino. Now to Van Putin, left block. Trying to back his way in, spins to the baseline, powers the shot up left side, but he locked before anything happened. Van Putin was trying to outmuscle AJ Range, which is not a great decision, and he gets caught with another traveling violation. Third turnover on the Eagles here in the second half. Hey, you just knew that travel was going to come, didn't you? Oh, happy feet. He's in there banging. It's like bumping into a, like it's like being inside of a phone booth and trying to get out. You just bumping and bumping and going nowhere against AJ. And now we have a warning, a bench warning here on Coach Donnie Boswick, who's not very happy, strolling up and down that left sideline here. 46-32 Coyotes, nearly five minutes into the second half. Brayden White, the first sub here in half number two for KWU. Harris deals it to the right wing to James Brooks. Off to the top to Wilson. Angle dribble left side off to Harris. Left wing three. This one short. Weak side rebound the range. But the ball got hit away by Kayvon Boston. Quick hands. And the speedster lost in control or lost it in transition. And then James Brooks has to slow up because he lost the handle. Here the ball is a little bit wet here. Maybe both teams just running up and down a little too fast. I think that's that's probably what it is. Brooks from the left wing, crosses over, pops the three off the back of the rim. Harris hits it to the top, the A.J. range, and the Coyotes have another crack here. Braden White to the top, the James. Brooks inside, here to A.J. Skies a pass, left corner to Harris, underneath Wilson. Takes a dribble, no look pass underneath to A.J. range to the right side. What a dime by Zay Wilson. And the Kyle lead is out the 16. Yeah, the big guy knew what to do when he got it down there, faced up. Nice head fake and a sweet pass. And a timeout for Oklahoma Wesleyan. 14 and a half to play in the game. KWU 48, OKWU 32. We'll be back after a full TO. You're listening to Kyle Pascal. Hi, friends. If Santa didn't show up with the fun new phone you wanted, Get yourself to Next Tech Wireless right now and take advantage of the great deal we're running. Your old phone is still worth a free iPhone 11 or a Galaxy S10e. And your number is still worth a Ring Video Doorbell 2, also free. Plus, you get four lines for $120 and all unlimited data. These great options are ending soon, so don't miss out. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. It's all about the specials at Burger Theory, featuring different $6.99 lunch specials every weekday. My favorites, the Build Your Own Burger on Mondays or Friday's Juicy Lone Star Burger, including sides, all for just $6.99. Breakfast specials weekday mornings as well, including coffee, just $6.99. And on Thursdays, kids 12 and under, accompanied by two adults, eat free. Burger Theory also welcomes carryouts. It's Burger Theory inside the Holiday Inn, just south of Lowe's in Salina. Fourteen and a half to go here inside Maybe Arena. Coyotes trying to pull off a senior night sweep here in Salina. KWU 48, number 14, Oklahoma Wesleyan 32. Now these two teams very well could see each other in the first round of the KCAC postseason tournament next week. But who knows? Because there is a log jam in the KCAC standings. Oklahoma Wesleyan basketball after the timeouts and attempted a trigger to inbound the basketball, but Zay Wilson kicked the ball. Now the Eagles get it in successfully. Kayvon Boston has the rock quickly down the right baseline, bounces it into the left corner to Brandon Bird. Skips it right side to Valentin Van Putin. Tries from deep and buries the three. That is just a 10th three for Valentin Van Putin. And it's a big three ball there for Oklahoma Wesleyan. Eagles with just their second made basket here in the second half. They're two of eight from the floor. Coyotes a three of ten. 48-35 Coyotes. 
Under 14 to go in the game. Here's Brooks. Rises from seven feet in the lane. The left-handed shot rolls off. And Oklahoma Westland takes off the other way. Brandon Bird sends a pass right wing to Kayvon Boston. Shoots over Brandon White to Kayvon of Boston. Rattles it in. Coach Anthony Munson immediately calls for a 30 after back-to-back threes. Allowed by KWU. 48-38 Kansas Westland. 13-38 to go in half number two. We'll come back after 30 seconds. You're listening to Coyote Basketball. Lowest rates, flexible plans, exceptional customer service, and coverage for everywhere you are. Say goodbye to being just a number. Say hello to something different at Next Tech Wireless. Mowry Clinic in Salina is proud to support Kansas Wesleyan University Athletics. Remember, a healthy yote is a happy yote, and the expert team of physicians at Mowry Clinic is available for all your health care needs. Visit MoweryClinic.com and discover why you matter more at Mowry. Kansas Wesleyan trying to pull off the top 15 upset here. 48-38 over number 14. Oklahoma Wesleyan 13-38 the go. Coyotes inbound the basketball after a timeout, after back-to-back threes for the Eagles. Andre Harris weaves through traffic and hands it off to Brayden White right front court. Andre Harris zips it to Wilson at the foul line. Head fakes, plays the left wing to James Brooks. Ignores the pick as he moves to the top and zips the pass left point to Harris. Down to eight seconds. Range exchanges with Brooks around a pick right side. Down the right baseline, right handed footer across off the rim. Good look for James. Oklahoma Wesleyan takes off the other way. Boston to the rim, right handed layup. Yes, and he got fouled by Braden White. White failed the stop. Kayvon Boston. And Boston, a guy averaging four points per game this season. Has a chance to make it nine points after an M1 free throw here. Yeah, he's a guy you definitely need to get in front of when he's got the dribble, bringing it up, because he can burn it in the second when he gets into uh, front court and go, go, go. And that time, when he let him go by him, he was going to try to get the block from the backside. Instead, got a little piece of the arm. A slew of subs here for KWU as Boston uh, buries the M1 free throw. Nine points for him. And a 9-0 run here for Oklahoma Wesleyan to make it a seven-point contest, 48-41. Under 13 minutes to play. Brooks straight away three. He's short off the glass. Trade up. He just subbed in. Had a shot at a rebound for the right low post. And he got fouled from behind by Brandon Bird. Just his first, but that's the fifth foul on Oklahoma Wesleyan here in half number two. Yeah, Trey Duffy's brought some good energy every time he's got on the court tonight. Payne Hatter also won for KWU, plus Brandon Gannaway. For the right baseline, deals it in to Braden White. Here's Brooks, left short corner jumper, hit the front of the rim, went off the glass and through. Brooks has his first bucket here in half number two. Yeah, I like it. I knew Brooks was perfectly capable of this any night. Big guard, good shooter. 50 to 41 Coyotes. They'll calm things down for a bit. 12 and a half to play here in the contest. Babe Putin straight away three, looking for another three. Boy, he has an ugly shot, but it goes through his second three tonight after having nine coming into tonight. That's a 1950s two-handed set shot. 50 to 44 KWU. Eight minutes into half number two. A completely different ball game now. Or at least it feels that way. Hatter looking right side, gives it off to Braden Ganaway. Goes by a pick, shoots from uh, the free throw line, off the back of the rim, and Van Putin taking over the game here for OKWU, gets the rebound. Zips a pass to the left corner to Kayvon Boston. Out to Van Putin, left wing, skies a pass to right low post. Brooks probably should have just let it go, but he thought he had a chance at a steal as he was trying to jostle with Max Valentino for positioning. Well, that ball goes out off his hands out of play, so it stays here with OKWU with Austin pulling on the floor for the Eagles. Baseline rights. Valentino gives it up to Van Putin. Steps out right wing, working on Trey Duffy. Van Putin, a lot of dribbling, steps back, pulls the trigger on a three, and he reigns in another. A guy with nine threes has made a three here tonight, 50 to 47. Eagles with their fourth three uh, here for the second half, and now we have a foul as we have a pile up in front of the Coyote bench. 
And they get a foul on Lentz. Ramey is first at six now on Oklahoma Wesleyan here in the second half. And now Coach Anthony Johnson says, all right, we need to bring on some other guys here. We've got to find the right combination. Zay Wilson back on as well as A.J. Range. So it looks like Coach Anthony Johnson trying to go with some size here. Yeah, go big, get it inside. That's all fine and dandy, but you're going to need to pound it in when you get out there. They also got a hat out there. He gets a good size and good length down low. Guy it's led by 16, but it's been trimmed down to three. Here's Hatter, pull-up jumper from 12, right side, air ball, and Ramey snatches the rebound for OKWU. They have a chance to tie here. Ben Putin has the high hand, attack right baseline, dribble off his own leg, picked it up, but he had a toe out of bounds on the end line. So it goes to KWU after the eighth turnover on Oklahoma Wesleyan here for the game. Coach Johnny Boswick really hasn't used his bench very much here in the second half. He had the original starting five, and then he brought on this group, and he has yet to really change it. But now he is choosing to do so with Jansen Litsky on the floor, as well as Taylor Miller, the freshman out of Frisco, Texas. Coyotes hanging on to a three-point cushion, 50-47. to 11 9 to play in the contest. But a full-court pressure by, applied by OKWU. But Kansas Wesleyan is able to break it down with ease. Gandaway quickly down the left baseline, making the left lane. His pass was tapped and stolen. Numbers here for the Eagles. Pulling left wing, stops. Into the left corner, Ramey. Challenge three, blocked by Hatter. But Ramey picks it up underneath to Miller, who shoots and falls to the ground as A.J. Range hit him. Second foul on the big fella, A.J. Range. That's three on KWU and half number two. And it sets up Taylor Miller with two free throws. Tough call on A.J. Looked like he blocked that with his forearm. I didn't see him get much of the, def- or the offensive player. Taylor Miller's first free throw try. Sees a pop off the rim. Oklahoma Wesley has a tenth of many free throws tonight. Eagles are two of three from the free throw line. Make it two of four from the charity strike. Before the second one, Brandon White getting replaced here for KWU. Miles Kaler on, who had three threes in that first half. And Taylor Miller set to come out with Kayvon Boston awaiting at the scores table. Second one for Miller. Brick them both. A 62 foul line percent shooter. 50 to 47. Kansas Wesleyan hanging on to the advantage. Ten and a half to go. Inside may be Arena. Kaler trying to take out his left hand as he skies a pass left side. Lob into range. Skips it right wing. Now to the right corner. Hatter triple off the front of the rim. And the rebound smacked down by Poling of OKWU. Austin Poling to the top. The Litsky swings the left wing to Ramey. Ball reverses right wing to Austin Poling as we approach the midway point here in half number two. Poling to the rim. Left-handed scooper from seven feet. Rims in. He's got nine points. And Oklahoma Wesleyan is within one. 50 to 49, KWU needing to find or needs to find an answer here. 9.45 to play. Say Wilson above the free throw line. Eagle showing zone. Range, left block, shot clock to 10. Range spins to the baseline, stops, shoots with the right hand, and draws a foul. As a shot crawled off the rim. Jansen Liskey, the one who found him, his third seven on OKWU. So every foul from here on out, resulting in free throw tries. Yeah, nice shot by AJ. Just got it in there and just went to work, man. Little shake and bake, a little spin move. Got it up in the double team. They got hammered. AJ buries the first free throw, coming off a career high 18 rebound performance on Wednesday in that last to Ottawa. Also added 21 points. He was 11th double-double this year, 12th in his career. Before he can lift up the second one, Andre Harris back on here for Kansas Wesleyan, Oklahoma Wesleyan, basically with a new five. We'll tell you about that here shortly as Range knocks in the second free throw. That calms things down here for KWU. Coyotes are on top by three, 52-49. Nine and a half minutes to go here inside maybe Arena. On the floor for OKWU. Poling, Van Putin, Brooks Haddock, Valentino, 
and Kayvon Boston. Valentino spinning, works in the lane, right hand a hook from five, deep off the glass, and then we have a whistle underneath the basket, and they get it on A.J. Range. So A.J. Range with the hold, his third foul, and the fourth on KWU in half number two. Baseline left here for Max Valentino, and he wisely calls for a timeout after the denial. 9.13 to go here in the game. Kansas Wesleyan 52, number 14, Oklahoma Wesleyan 49. We'll keep it here for the time being and tell you that following the conclusion of this game, stick around for the Hideaway Bar postgame show. We'll go through stats, scores, pick a next tech wireless player of the game, and chat with coach Anthony Munson. Wild game, man. And a tough call there on A.J. to get his third. He's been given free piggyback rides in the lane all night long, and then they get him for that little ticky-tack block out. So talked about it being a tough game to officiate. It's one of those games where if you miss a call on this end, the pace of the game, there's already two more trips. You already forgot about that one, and you got to move on to the next one. So uh, these guys need to stick with it now that it's got close with less than 10 minutes. Kansas Westland started the game with 14 straight points. Oklahoma Westland came back. But the Kansas Westland Coyotes never gave that lead up. Right now they're hanging on to a three-point advantage, 52-49. After the Oklahoma Westland timeout, ball inbounded, pulling, angle dribble across the arc to the left side. Pick set, head face on a three, shot clock to six. Valentino lost the handle, down the three, Van Putin picks it up, fires a left wing, and he actually misses one. He thought he was going to make that one. <laughs> Brandon Ganaway to Wilson, takes a dribble, rises, and scoops it in with a right hand. A double clutch shot, and he took a shot for one more. Max Valentino with a foul, his first, eighth on Oklahoma Wesleyan. And Zay Wilson, the senior out of Austin, Texas, with a chance to capitalize here with a big and one opportunity. Zay got a chance to show a little bit of those springs, man. He was all the way up there wanting to dunk it. Dunk it. The defender flew by, made him double clutch, and he still got it off the backboard and got it in. Nice shot by the big man. Zay Wilson uh, awaiting the M1 free throw. Before he can do it, though, James Brooks steps on for Kansas Wesleyan. Oklahoma Wesleyan, meanwhile, brings on Lance Tipton. M1 free throw for Wilson. That one's deep. Coyotes 54, Eagles 49, eight and a half to play. Oklahoma Wesleyan basketball. Ball skip left corner to Kayvon Boston. He attacks, whips underneath. Van Putin catches left side and throws it in with two hands. Van Putin with 13 points, 11 coming here in the second half. Yeah, it took him a while to get warmed up, but he's been their offense. Averaging eight points per game off the bench. Andre Harris, right wing three. This one long. Van Putin had a chance for the rebound, and he hit it away from Miles Kaler to the baseline, so it stays here with KWU. Coyotes have nine offensive rebounds here for the game. Meanwhile, Oklahoma Wesleyan has just six. I never thought I would say that because the Eagles, they're number four in the nation in offensive rebounds per game. Yeah, and in the course of less than seven minutes, they've put 17, uh, they've put 19 points up on the board. Saving it downwards into the game for KWU as the ball is triggered in the James Brooks left side. He's 6 of 19 for the four with 16 points. Harris, three ball, the senior. It's short, but a good look there for KWU. Oklahoma Wesleyan running the other way with pulling into the right wing position. Haddock, triple, the short, and a delayed foul call on Andre Harris. That one's a tough pill to swallow. As Andre gets whistled for his first, that's five on KWU in the second half. Yeah, and, and Haddock's been working the officials. I, granted, he just got into the game here, but it, but before he thought he was hacked a couple times on a couple earlier possessions, and he's worked the officials down the backside entire time, and uh, he gets the call there on the three-point shot. 88% shooter from the free throw line with 131 free throw attempts this year. And he knocks in its first two with ease. A.J. Range stepping on the floor before the third try. Zay Wilson comes sprinting off here for KWU. Yeah, it's bad enough that uh, Van Putin's been their offensive threat. You do not want to get this guy started here late in the game. He has that high release, and it's so tough to guard. You know, Brooks Haddock capitalizing on the three 
free throw opportunities. Three for three to tie it up at 54 all. 7.46 to play in the contest. Harris to the top. Ganaway straight away three. He puts it in. Brandon Ganaway with his first three on the night. His 44th tray on the season. And the Coyotes are back ahead. And then a pass. Harris tapped it away from Haddock. But Haddock now picks it up left wing. Haddock to the foul line. To the right wing. Van Putin three. This one pops off the rim. And deep in the corner. Rebound to Andre Harris of KWU. Coyotes by three. 57-54. 7-14 to play. Here inside Maybe Arena. Coyotes trying to pull off the upset. Brandon Ganaway with the basketball right wing. To Savian Edwards, right side. Skip pass to the left, and it's stolen by Austin Poling, who stops right block. Pulling out right wing, Lance Tipton three. It's deep, and it touches the shot clock. So it goes to KWU as the Coyotes dodge a bullet there after the turnover. Yeah, they did. A great job getting back to uh, force that hesitation on the uh, what would have been a layup. And uh, Wesleyan got by with an easy one there. Kansas Wesleyan brings on Trey Gilbert. They just pass far side. Ganaway then all the way back to Edwards. Six seconds off the shot clock. Edwards in the middle of Brooks. Brooks dribbles, rises on the seven-footer off the back of the rim. Boy, James just off here in the second half. Kayvon Boston to the right side of the polling. Out to the right wing to Boston. Drives, circles down the right baseline, cut off by Edwards. And now Oklahoma Wesleyan slows up. Van Putin, though, attacking to Tipton. Shoots to the right post. It's blocked there by A.J. Range. And KWU slows up with that three-point cushion. Nice shot by Range, keeping his feet there, staying tall, and uh, changing the shot. 57-54. Six minutes remaining here in the contest. Brooks Silver to the left side. Exchanges with Sigmund Edwards. Shot clock to eight. Edwards to the left side of Brooks. Down to five. Brooks, 15-footer. He hit it off the bounce. Brooks with 18. Just a second bucket in the second half. And a timeout for KWU. 5.51 to play. 59-54, Kansas Wesleyan. Coyotes call the T.O. It's a full one. Let's take it. You're listening to Coyote Basketball. Now a moment of Sage advice from Sage Products in Salina. Sage is your go-to source for industrial strength cleaning products, floor equipment, paper, pesticides, machine repair, and just about everything in between. Whether you're a maintenance supervisor, a small business, or just one in your home to look its best, stop by 732 North 9th Street in Salina, where our friendly staff will be happy to assist you. You can also visit us at officialsageproducts.com or call us at 309-1919. Sage Products. The right call every time. Hi, I'm Randy Russell with Solutions for Life. Are you nearing retirement and wondering, do I have enough money to retire? What if we have another stock market crash? Or how long will my money last? These are tough questions, but I have the answers. Give me a call today to discuss your plans for retirement. My number is 785-452-8039. That's 785-452-8039. I'm available 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday. Kansas Wesleyan by five, 59-54, 5.51 left here. Inside may be arena. It's senior night for the Coyotes. They have never made it to 18 win, wins of the regular season. And the coach, Anthony Munson, they have a chance to do that right now. It would be a marquee win over number 14 OKWU, but still a lot of time left, and the Eagles had the basketball after the Coyote T.O. The Eagle 5 here on the road. Kayvon Boston, Max Valentino. Austin Poling, here's Valentino, top of the key three, rims out right side, and Skyn high for the rebound, but Simeon Edwards, the freshman for KWU. Edwards sprints left side, now slows up here for the Coyotes. Brooks right wing, attacking right baseline. Plays the left wing into the left corner to Trey Gilbert for a three. It's blocked by Max Valentino. Oklahoma Wesleyan basketball. Brooks Haddock stops at the left wing. Skips a pass right side of Kayvon Boston. Van Putin on the floor for OKWU. And that's your five for the Eagles. Boston inside the Valentino left block. Mismatch there. 
extra passing right corner three for polling it's strong and a strong rebound for james brooks him and trey gilbert both go down for the coyotes the numbers get away taken off left-handed scooper a runner has stopped the mark but kwu sees the ball go their way because oklahoma wesleyan couldn't corral the ball squirts out of play to the baseline and they're playing hard out here they, uh, they uh, know what the score is. They know how this is going to go down, and if they don't press the issue, Wesleyan's going to get beat. So baseline right for Gandaway. Inbounds to Trey Gilbert. Deals it to the top to Sabian Edwards as we're down to 445 left. 59-54 Coyotes. Gandaway down left lane. A whip around pass. Shooter shot it. Ball got tapped out to the top, and it's stolen by Poling. Polling by the back dribble and a left-handed finish by the freshman. What a play there by Austin Polling, who's got 11 points here tonight. Yeah, the kid's a heck of a player, man, and just a freshman. Holy cow. 59-56. Edwards, left side three. Short range, jumped up, looking for the rebound. And do we have a foul on an eagle? We do. A.J. Range went upright and got upended by an eagle. He had two of them near him. And it looks like it's Lentz Ramey who gets the foul just a second. That's 9-0 on the Eagles, so 1-1 here for A.J. Range. Coyotes in the bonus. Yeah, and then the official called him stepping underneath him when Range went up to get the board, uh, come down two hands that the kid stepped in underneath him and called uh, what would be a verticality call. So A.J. Range fires the first one and drills it. Notice I said the first one because I was so confident there with A.J. Range. Hey, man, he, uh, you got to knock down the free throws. That was the front end of the 101. Here's the second one for A.J. Got them both. Those are big free throws by the big fella. He's got 10 points. Coyotes have 61. Oklahoma Wesleyan with 56. 4.09 left. Here in the ballgame for senior night, Kayvon Boston circles, fires a left wing three, doesn't draw anything, and there's Poling, Johnny on the spot there for the offensive rebound. Pass though, forced inside by Ramey, right side, and it's stolen by James Brooks and KWU. Coach Anthony Munson stands up and tells his team to slow up. Coyotes trying to pull off the remarkable upset to cap off the regular season. Trey Gilbert after the rocker step takes off to the foul line, pass near side, stolen by Poling, and then we're seeing uh, some twisting and turning past the white timeline. Austin Poling got the steal and got hit by Brennan Genaway. Second foul on Began, set six on KWU, and now Trey Gilbert's getting replaced by Braden White. Yeah, tough call there on the behind the back by the uh, offensive player and again away for the for the grab. Three and a half to play, 61-56 Coyotes. Ramey, a wild pass to the baseline. It's saved by Valentino to the right front court. The Brooks Haddock. Haddock trying to dribble to the right corner. Gets cut off. Deals it to Ramey. Polling touching left front court. Shot clock reading 10. Polling stopping at the top of the arc. Polling falls over because Ganaway ran into him. That's unfortunate there because Ganaway was kind of caught in a tight space and yeah, no choice but just to kind of run into him so Austin Poling the freshman for a 101 opportunity as the Eagles are in the bonus following the 17 foul on KWU it's just one of them sneaky little guard plays by Poling there when he felt the pressure coming on him leaning on him he just kind of ducked down and let Ganaway's body weight take them all both to the floor Austin Poling's had a great night 11 points for the freshman he was scoreless down in Barrowsville in this first meetup, and polling nothing but nylon on the front end of the 101, a 77% shooter for the free throw line. This is to make it a one possession game. Polling, deep pin, the southpaw throws it up and makes 13 points for him. 61 58, pressure applied. White finds James Brooks behind the back, dribble down the floor, left-handed high shot, missed, ball tapped around, and it's a scrum. A hell ball is the call on the board, and it goes in favor of Oklahoma Wesleyan here on the road. Then Coach Anthony Munson wanted some contact there on James Brooks who attacked the rim. 
Yeah, no doubt. A little contact on range two. Range went up and just ripped it out of three guys' hands. 61-58, Kansas Wesleyan. 3-10 to play. Eagle basketball. Austin Poling trots the ball up here for OKWU. Brooks Haddock and Lentz Ramey back on the floor here for the Eagles. Poling spinning, and he had the ball ripped away by Begans. Ganaway to the rim, left-handed scooper, hangs on the rim and falls off. Eagle rebound. Pass across the floor, Ramey underneath. Here's Van Putin left side, out to the left corner. Ramey three, rims out. Van Putin with a rebound for OKWU. And now we have a flop. They're going to say a flopping warning here on OKWU. It's on Lentz Ramey. So it must have been after the three-pointer. Yeah, it must have been. So Oklahoma Wesleyan basketball after the stoppage of play here. Brooks had to try to back his way in on White. A little one-legged shot from 17 fading. That's short. And then A.J. Range on the backside gets fouled by Valentin Van Putin. That's three fouls on him, but most importantly, that's the 10th on the Eagles, so two free throws coming here for the big fella, A.J. Range. Every one of them is going to count for the last 229 here. You have to start knocking these down. I'm I, I, uh, pretty surprised by that flop warning, pal. Well, can't, can't call a gosh darn foul anyplace else, but by golly, we can enforce that one here late in the game. A.J. Range, the first of two. It was initially short. But had enough English to go over the rim and down through the cylinder. And if it's going to be a penalty and a warning, it should probably be a turnover. He should give it to the other team. Over Second there. one for A.J. Got them both. The junior, excellent at the free throw line here tonight. A perfect six for six. 63-58 KWU. 2.20 to play. Got your time here in maybe arena. Lance Ramey at the top of the arc. Ball got ripped away by Simeon Edwards. Spurning to the rim. Double clutch shot. Finished through by Simeon. Big play by the freshman from Washburn Rule. And the Coyotes lead by six. 65-58. Two minutes to go. Van Putin working on range. Stepping back. Dribbling between the legs. Deals the left side. Haddock down the left baseline. Shoots. Finishes with the right hand, no, halfway down, and it swirls off the mark. And then uh, OKWU has the ball as Kansas wants to fail to corral the ball. Got hit out of play, last touch by a coyote. Yeah, both Savion and AJ got hands on it, couldn't reel it in. Van Poon with the ball, left side, pops the three, it's short. Had three in the second half, but he's been cold ever since. 65-58 KWU. A minute 30 to play. Coyotes looking for the senior night sweep inside maybe arena. Savian Edwards who just had the big steal. Right wing with the basketball. Inside range, catching, spinning, trying to shoot, but he gets fouled. He got hit before he shot, but no matter what, it's two free throws as Valentino shoved him. Coach Donnie Boswick trying to say, what do you mean? How's that a foul? That's not a foul right there. Yeah, it, it was a tough call, but even tougher. A.J. Ketch gets posted up. They make the entry pass to him, and when he turned around, he had polling on him. He didn't realize really how open he was, and then when he went up to the other side of the bucket, he got uh, banged. A.J. Range splashes in the first free throw to make it an eight-point coyote cushion. Okay, Von Boston checking into the lineup here for OKWU. Max Valentino subbing out here for the Eagles. A.J. with another double-double. 13 points, 12 rebounds. 14 and 12 for the big Phillip. His seventh double-double in the last nine games. A perfect 8 for 8 from the free throw line after nailing those two. Making it 67-58 Coyotes. A minute 20 to go. Boston sprinting up the middle to Brooks Haddock. Right wing three, a deep one. It's deep. Brandon Ganaway gets the rebound and chicken wings the basketball. And then Ganaway gets fouled by Austin Poling. Second one on the freshman, and Brandon Ganaway makes the slow walk over to the free throw line for a pair. Hey, he held on the ball, and he's the one who wanted to get fouled. Now he's come up here and knock these down. Brandon Ganaway 
Watch as the first. It hits. Senior leadership. Brandon Getaway here on senior night with just eight points. He's been quiet. Second one. Got them both. Kansas Wesley with just one free throw miss. All game. 69-58. A minute seven to play. Deep three right wing for Boston. Doesn't draw anything as it goes out of play. Eagles just 9 of 34 from beyond the arc. And Coach Anthony Monson going to his bench here. Andre Harris subbing out with Dylan Hunt checking in. Oklahoma Wesleyan, meanwhile, bringing on some new players for some full court pressure. Brandon White, baseline left, still in the backcourt. Across the floor to James Brooks, and he got fouled by Kasdan Amons. So James Brooks with 18 points here tonight. Has a chance to make a 20 with two free throw tries right here, Dan. Yep. We've got we've got the right guys going to the free throw line here late, that's for sure. So James Brooks getting set up. Throws up the first and bricks it. Well, just the second free throw miss for Kansas Wesleyan here for the game. 16 of 18 are the Coyotes. Hey, Brooks has had a heck of a game tonight. This is the most aggressive I've seen him play. And uh, he just attacked and took the offense into his own hands. Second one for Brooks. That one's perfect. 70-58, to 58, Kansas Wesleyan. Clock starts now at half court. One minute to play. Pulling D3 right side. Off the right side of the rim. Brandon White with the board for KWU. He's in the backcourt, drawing the double. To the middle, A.J. Range catches, dribbles. Off to Harris in front of the Coyote bench. Who then throws the ball away. But unfortunately, Austin Poling couldn't control the basketball, and it rolls off his hands and out of play, staying here with KWU. Yep, very fortunate there. Just trying to do a little bit too much when he's down 12, and uh, you just have to take it one step at a time, one dribble at a time. So baseline right here for Braden White. He's looking. Skies a pass all the way to the top here to Brandon Getaway. Getaway feels the trap coming. Takes off. Throws it underneath to the right side. And an opportunity for the Eagles to get a steal. But unfortunately, Oklahoma Wesley was out of bounds with touching the basketball. Getaway. Now the inbounder to the left of range. A wide open two for A.J. 16 for the big fill-up. And that should do it here inside Maybe Arena. 30 seconds to go. Pulling left wing. Uh, sidesteps the defender into the left corner. Miller, three, uh, rattles it in. His first bucket on the night and a timeout for OKWU. 72-61, Kansas Wesleyan, 26 seconds to go. It's a full timeout. Let's take it. You're listening to Coyote Basketball. Hi, I'm Randy Russell with Solutions for Life. Are you nearing Medicare age or already on Medicare and seeing your rates go higher and higher? If so, then give me a call. As an independent insurance agent, I can compare multiple companies in just seconds. Let's sit down and decide which plan is right for you. Call me at 785-452-8039. That's 785-452-8039. Medicare made simple. Available 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to noon on Saturday. Are you tired of the same old Salina, Kansas bar scene? Try the Hideaway Bar, a hidden gem tucked away off South Broadway. It has a clean, brand new interior with an extremely friendly staff and awesome atmosphere. The coldest drinks, not one but two patio areas. Happy hour every weekday from 11 to 6. What are you waiting for? The Hideaway Bar, 540 Willis, just off South Broadway near the Cloud Intersection. Find them on Facebook. Kansas Wesleyan trying to pull off the stunner inside Maybe Arena. 26 seconds ago, Coyotes leading number 14, OKWU, 72 to 61. After the timeout for Oklahoma Wesleyan, Ganaway inbounds to James Brooks, who is fouled by an eagle as Coach Donnie Boswick continues to extend the game here. Meanwhile, James Brooks gets a second chance at maybe reaching 20 here. 20 points for his senior day. Hey, he deserves it, man. I don't know what he's uh, shot there in the uh, 
tired game, but like I said, he's been more offensively aggressive tonight than I've ever seen him, and uh, he's perfectly capable. Big guard. I mean, he's got great feet. He's got great handles. Good looking shot. Uh, the, the kid's just uh, just a baller, and uh, he's shown it tonight. Shown most of his skills tonight. He makes the first free throw to get the 20. Second one, he decided to go for the bank, and he smiles because that's exactly what he wanted to do. 74-61, 20 seconds to go here in the contest. Here's Brooks Haddock. This is a deep three, left wing from 30 feet, and oh my, he splashes it in. He's got 10, his second three on the Knights. Actually, I take that back. That's his first three on the Knights. That's time out for OKWU. 10-point Kaya lead, 74-64, 17 seconds to go. That's probably one of the better aspects of the Kaya defensive uh, effort tonight was keeping Haddock under his average, and uh, he's a heck of a player, and you can see at times how that guy can light you up for 30 at any given night. What's crazy is Brooks Haddock here tonight. Guy's only a sophomore, and that's what's really scary about what he can do. He's 3 of 11 from the floor. Has 10 points tonight. He was held to six points on two of five shooting way back on January 11th when Oklahoma Wesleyan claimed this matchup. 80 to 66 was the final. But Kansas Wesleyan played even with OKWU for 23 and a half minutes before the Eagles went on a 21 to 3 second half run to get the victory. So uh, next year, having Poling, Haddock, and Boston back as their guards. Uh, that's uh, going to be a pretty pretty good trio for getting the ball not only up and down the court fast and, and playing fast, but just knocking down some shots because we saw a wide array of stuff that uh, Poling's capable of doing tonight too. After the Oklahoma Wesleyan timeouts, Brandon Ganaway stands on the end line to our left for the inbound in front of this great crowd here at KWU inside Maybe Arena. Ganaway trots to the far side on the end line, gives it off to Brandon White. Now underneath the Brandon Ganaway, he says, come foul me because I would like to get the double digits now. And he was fouled by Kasdan Amons. So Brandon Ganaway slowly walks over to the free throw line here for two more. Most coaches will do this till they get to 12, and then they usually back out of it here. I can't imagine him continuing to do it all the way to the end, but... But, uh, you know, it's, it's part of the strategy. It's just part of taking the – also for the for the visiting coach, you take your crowd completely out of the game too here at the end. Good way to look at it. Getaway calmly soaks the first one. He had no free throw attempts on Wednesday against Ottawa. It, the first game that he did have a free throw attempt since January 4th against McPherson. 76 64 as he makes both of them. Eight seconds left to the rim. Polling misses. And that wraps up this one here tonight. Oh, wow. Well, Donnie Boswick gets a quick little tee here. Apparently, he wants to be thrown out of the contest. I, I heard him drop a word that probably wouldn't be used in the Bible. And I don't know why he wants to add more here, but he wanted a foul on polling on the drive here. Well, I mean, it makes sense, but you're down by 12. No reason to get a technical 1.9 seconds to go unless you want to, you know, take the crowd of the game, but you're not because you're allowing them to I gotta have some fun here. i got to be honest with you as an official, Pat, I don't know if I can give a guy a team that's got the good book in his hand. You think that's bad, Juju? I, it is. <laughs> Second one for Brandon Ganaway after making the first. Rims that one through to make it 78-64. Coach Boswick still talking here to this one official, but we're 1.9 seconds away. Brooks inbounds, and it's a senior night sweep for KWU. Coyote stun, number 14, Oklahoma Wesleyan. 78-64, your final. We'll take a two-minute timeout, then come back for the Highway Bar postgame show. You're listening to Cayo Basketball. Are you tired of the same old Salina, Kansas bar scene? Try the Hideaway Bar, a hidden gem tucked away off South Broadway. It has a clean, brand-new interior with an extremely friendly staff and awesome atmosphere. 
the coldest drinks. Not one, but two patio areas. Happy hour every weekday from 11 to 6. What are you waiting for? The Hideaway Bar, 540 Willis, just off South Broadway near the Cloud Intersection. Find them on Facebook. Hi, friends. If Santa didn't show up with the fun new phone you wanted, get yourself to Next Tech Wireless right now and take advantage of the great deal we're running. Your old phone is still worth a free iPhone 11 or a Galaxy S10e. And your number is still worth a Ring Video Doorbell 2, also free. Plus, you get four lines for 120 bucks and all unlimited data. These great options are ending soon, so don't miss out. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. Now, a moment of Sage advice from Sage Products in Salina. Sage is your go-to source for industrial strength cleaning products, floor equipment, paper, pesticides, machine repair, and just about everything in between. Whether you're a maintenance supervisor, a small business, or just one in your home to look its best, stop by 732 North 9th Street in Salina, where our friendly staff will be happy to assist you. You can also visit us at officialsageproducts.com or call us at 309-1919. Sage Products. The right call every time. The road to success for any athletic program is far from easy. The long, winding path features years of hard work, dedication, and a team-first approach. That's been the formula for success for the Kansas Contractors Association. Since 1923, KCA is the recognized leader for our state's transportation industry. From one generation to the next, KCA members are proud to build Kansas roads and bridges for a better future. Visit them at We Build kansas.com coyotes did it coyotes did it they did it again it's time for the hideaway bar post game show coming up a complete game recap stats scores the next tech wireless player of the game and much more this is Kansas Wesleyan Basketball. Kansas Wesleyan pulls off the senior night sweep inside Maybe Arena. The Coyote men, they close out the day with a 78-64 upset special over number 14, uh, Oklahoma Wesleyan. Welcome into the Hideaway Bar postgame show. The official party spot of the Kansas Wesleyan Coyotes is the Hideaway Bar. The Hideaway Bar has the coldest drinks two patio areas happy hour every weekday from 11 to 6 and karaoke on saturday nights the hideaway bar 540 willis south south broadway just south of the broadway in cloud intersection well i'm just noticing something here dan fleming the nets are about to be cut down here oh, yeah. for the uh, coyotes women's basketball team so they just got done uh, earlier today winning their first outright conference championship in program history. So a lot of people are sticking around to see the Nets be cut down, which is a, a very special moment. They earned the victory 63-55 earlier today. But KWU in the nightcap, the Coyotes, they scored the first 14 points of the game before Oklahoma Wesleyan made its first bucket at the 12:40 mark. Eagles would come back, but Miles Kaler was able to hold Oklahoma Wesleyan at bay with three three-pointers. The sophomore extended the game out to a double-digit lead, 33-21. Eagles would trim it down to single digits once again by halftime, trailing 37-30. In half number two, the Coyote lead expanded out to as many as 16 points with 14-38 to go. But OKWU, the Eagles did not go away. They tied up the game at 54 all but the big thing kansas wesleyan never let go of the lead never let oklahoma wesleyan get on top as the coyotes lead a wire to wire making free throw after free throw down the stretch and getting the 14 point victory 78 to 64 coyotes 18 and 11 15 and 9 in conference play oklahoma wesleyan number 14 in the nation Falls to 22 and 8, 17 and 7 in the KCAC. Time now to revisit the Kansas Contractors Association Road to Success. Since 1923, the Kansas Contractors Association has been the recognized leader for our state's transportation industry. From one generation to the next, KCA members are proud to build Kansas roads and bridges for a better future. Visit them at WeBuildKansas.com. 
KWU.com. Well, Dan, simply put, KWU got her their tails off here tonight, and that's what set the tone for KWU as the Coyotes get it done. Absolutely. If you're going to beat a ranked team in your place and uh, late in the season like this, that's what you have to do. You have to play defense. You have